we're at the University of Washington's Japanese Garden, and our title is Shimitsun in Washington. Shimitsun means the rock center of the earth, and quite prominent in Japanese gardens is also Ruanji, which are rocks in the sand. And the lakes are usually crane shaped with turtle shaped islands. That term is called Horai and it refers to eternal life. So certainly uh, I did got a sense of all uh, three concepts in this Japanese garden, as well as Jungen. Jungen is repose of the soul in nature. Now the rock center of the universe also in a way is a metaphor for the island of Japan. And that is usually one of 15 rocks uh, that are placed at various places in the garden. Now, of course, the garden includes the lake in Japanese gardens. This video was taken in late August, early September. Here we see a weeping willow. And the leaves are just starting to turn. And for me, that was uh, the better part of uh, the season because the coloration, particularly on the Japanese male, maples, haven't been turned completely to red, although this one is, but most of them are more orange colored uh, than this Japanese maple that we're looking at. You also see benches in the Japanese gardens, and that's so you can sit down and uh, perhaps repose your soul. Here we see an arbor and the Japanese lantern. Japanese lantern was given to Oliver Hazard Perry when he reopened Japan in the middle 1800s. And it's a symbol of the Christian Virgin Mary, which is a great honor when you think that Japan at that time uh, had very little, if any, uh, Christian uh, peoples. Looking at the edge of the pool here. And again, I could have sat there for a long time, much longer than the five minute video. Now the rocks, as I said earlier, are placed sometimes in the water, sometimes in sand, or just on the land. So if you did decide to make a Japanese garden, certainly you want that element in your garden. Here we see a weeping willow. Now I love the uh, gnarled growth, the uh, specialized uh, pruning that eventually wound up in bonsai plants. Here we see a weeping willow, looks, look like, well, looks like it's grown sideways. And it's alongside some Topiary. Good reminder of the man's intervention, if you will, in nature. Here we see some more dwarf pines in the uh, Japanese lantern in the rock formation. There's got to be 15 there. And here's another beautiful scene uh, with rocks on the land. So if you go to uh, start a Japanese garden, do it with rocks.